To solve a first order system of equations with two unknowns, you can use three different methods. You can use assimilate, assimilation, substitution or the combination method. We noticed that most people struggle with the combination method. So we decided to explain the combination method once more. We will show you how to solve a first order system of equations with two unknowns by using the combination method. We will explain this with three examples. We start with the following problem. Sarah buys five white and six black face masks in the store. She pays 28 euros. Liam goes to the same store and buys 11 white and four black face masks. He pays 34 euros. What is the price of a white face mask and what is the price of a black face mask? We are going to solve this problem by using a system of equations. In the first step, we're going to choose the unknowns. X represents the price of a white face mask and Y the price of a black face mask. We will write this problem as a system of two equations. Sarah buys five white and six black face masks. Therefore, she pays 28 euros. We write this as 5x plus 6y equals 28. We also know that Liam buys 11 white and 4 black face masks. And he pays 34 euros. So, 11x plus 4y equals 34. To solve this problem, we will use the combination method by following different steps. First, we make the coefficients of one of the unknowns opposite. We choose to make the coefficients of y opposite to each other. Therefore, we multiply the first equation by negative 2 and the second equation by 3. Of course, we can also choose to multiply by 2 and negative 3. In that case, the coefficients of y are also opposite to each other. In step 2, we form an equivalent, equivalent system of equations. We add the left-hand side of the second equation to the left-hand side of the first equation and do the same for the right-hand side. This will be the first equation of our new system of equations. For the second equation, we use one of the original equations. We choose the second equation of our original system of equations. The third and last step is to, to determine the value of x and y. Next, we replace the x or y by its value, so we can determine the value of the other unknown. We use the first equation and see that we can cancel the terms containing y. To determine the value of x, we divide 46 by 23. We get 2 as, as the value of x. Now we notice we can replace x by 2 in the second equation. To determine the value of y, we subtract 22 from both sides of the equation. That gives us 4y equals 12. We divide both sides by 4 and we know that the value of y is 3. The solution set consists of the ordered pair 2, 3. We have to formulate an answer. A white face mask costs 2 euros and a black face mask costs 3 euros. We will check our answer. A white face mask costs 2 euros and Sarah buys 5 of them. That makes 10 euros. 
she also buys six black face masks. Each one costs three euros. So for the back for the black face masks, she pays 18 euros. If we add the price of the white face masks to the price of the black face masks, we know she pays 28 euros for all her face masks. This matches with, with what is given in the problem. We do the same for Liam. A white face mask costs 2 euros and Liam buys 11 of them. That makes 22 euros. He also buy four black face masks. Each one costs three euros. So for the black face mask, he pay 12 euros. If we add the price of the white face masks to the price of the black face masks, we know he pays 34 euros for all his face masks. We conclude that our solution is correct. To practice the combination methods, we are going to solve a second problem. First, we make the coefficients of one of the unknowns opposite. We choose to make the coefficients of x opposite to each other. Therefore, we multiply the first equation by 4 and the second equation by 3. Of course, we can also choose to multiply by negative 4 and negative 3. In that case, the coefficients of x are all also opposite to each other. In step two, we form an equivalent system of equations. We add the left-hand side of the second equation to the left-hand side of the first equation and do the same for the right-hand side. This will be the first equation of our new system of equations. For the second equation, we used one of the original equations. We choose the second equation of our original system of equations. We notice that we can cancel all the terms in the first equation. This results in 0x plus 0y plus 0 equals 0. We can also write this as 0 equals 0. This is an identical equation, which means the system of equations has an infinite amount of solutions. This is called an underdetermined system. To determine the solution sets, we have to write one of the unknowns in function of the other unknown. We choose to write x in function of y and conclude that x and y are depending on each other. There is still an unknown in the solution. It looks like the system of equations isn't solved. To formulate the solution set, we write x in function of y the unknown y could be every real number. We represent y by the parameter a, so a represents every real number. So the first entry of the ordered pair is 2a plus 4, and the second entry is a. This is the solution if we write x in function of y. But we can also choose to write y in function of x. There's again still an unknown in the solution, so it looks like the system of equations isn't solved. To formulate the solution set, we write a y in function of x. The unknown x could be every real number, so we represent x by the parameter a, so a represents every real number. So the first entry of the ordered pair is a, and the second entry is a minus 4 divided by 2. This is the solution if we write x in function of y. To practice even more, we are going to solve a third and last problem. First, we make the coefficients of one of the unknowns opposite. We choose to make the coefficients of x opposite to each other. Therefore, we multiply the first equation by 3. We are not going to change the second equation, which is the same as multiplying by 1. Of course, we can also choose to multiply by negative 3 and negative 1. In that case, the coefficients of x are also opposite to each other. In step 2, we form an equivalent system of equations. We add the left-hand side of the second equation 
to the left hand side of the first sequence and do the same for the right hand side. This will be the first equation of our new system of equations. For the second equation, we use one of the original equations. We choose the second equation of our original system of equations. We notice that we can cancel the terms containing x or y. This results in 0x plus 0y equals 20. We can also write this as 0 equals 20. This is a false equation, which means the system of equations has no solutions. This is called an inconsistent system. So the solution set is empty. To summarize, when we solve a first order system of equations with two unknowns, by using the linear combination method, we use the following steps. 1. Make the coefficients of one of the unknowns opposite by multiplying. 2. Add the equations. 3. Determine the value of x and y. Replace and determine the other unknown. When solving a system of equations, you have three possible situations. A unique system with one solution, and the solution set consists of one couple. Here you can see an example. An underdetermined system with an infinite amount of solutions, or an inconsistent system that has no solutions. Thank you for listening. Uh, we hope the combination method is clear now.